I'm Debbie Leone, Director of Cardiovascular Outreach for Southeast Health. So we're here today to talk about hands-only CPR. If you come across someone who has collapsed and you think that they may be having a cardiac arrest, what we're looking for is three things. We're looking for are they moving, are they breathing, or are they responding? So if they can speak, if they can move, or if they're breathing, they have a heartbeat. Either way, you call 911. But if they're not moving, breathing, or responding, the very most important thing you can do at this moment is to call the ambulance, call 911, and if, if you're in an area where there is an AED available, tell somebody to get the AED. Then you put your hand on the middle of the chest and the bone in the middle of the chest, both hands over the top, and you're gonna use straight arms to push about this pace. And you're gonna continue that until an AED arrives or EMS arrives. I'm doing my compressions when the AED arrives. We're gonna keep doing our compressions as much as possible while the AED is being um, put together and put on the patient's chest. This needs to go directly on someone's skin. So we're gonna open it up. We're gonna turn it on. Unit, okay. Stay calm. Check responsiveness. Gonna, Call for help. Put the pads on the chest Attach the way they're pads to illustrated. To chest. They're basically crossing the heart. We will Analyze. not touch the patient while the AED is analyzing the heart rhythm. Don't touch patient. The AED Analyze. only works if the bottom of the heart is in a quiver mode called fibrillation. If it is, has bottom. a heartbeat, Don't touch it will not patient. shock. Press flashing shock button. There's a shock button in the middle. You have to make sure nobody's touching the patient Don't or anything around patient. it. Press and then flashing. you push shock the button. Delivered. That Dark will deliver CPR. the shock. If they don't move, breathe, or respond, you get back into compressions and you start doing compressions over again. You keep this up for two more minutes when the machine will again tell you just to not touch the patient, analyze the rhythm, and tell you whether or not you should shock. You continue doing that while you're waiting for emergency help to arrive, and you leave it on. You don't take the pads off, you don't unplug it. You wait for the emergency to, um, uh, folks to arrive, and then uh, let them take over from there.